Hi there, Paddy Byrne here and in this episode of Free Falling Through Canvas Apps we're going to look at that trash can control. We're going to change the on-select property of that so that instead of deleting the opportunity it prompts the user to choose whether they want to keep it or if they want to confirm they're going to delete it. Cheers. So we want to give the impression that the dialogue to prompt whether we should delete the record appears on top of the main screen. To do that we'll add a rectangle And we'll make the rectangle take up the, the full size of the screen. Now I want to make, change the fill of that rectangle so that it's transparent, dark and transparent. Transparent enough to see, so that the user can see the, the, the context of the record behind it. So I'll do that by changing the fill to RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.6. Works quite well. Now, we're going to make our pop up a button instead of a rectangle. The reason we're doing it as a button instead of a rectangle is because rectangles don't have rounded corners and I like my pop up my dialogue style of rounded corners. So I'll do that by insert a button. I'm going to make it as big as possible so that people can see it. And then just delete the text in the middle. So now we want to change the colour of our pop-up. We'll choose a nice bright colour. Once we've set the colour property, we want to change all the other colour properties because we don't want to be hovering over this button or clicking this button and it changing colour because then it'll look like it is actually a button. We want to give the impression that this is just a, a flat dialogue, not a button. So once we can do once we do that, I'm sorry, once we change the colour property. We can then reference that colour property in each of the other properties that we want to set to that colour. And you do that by typing the name of the control dot colour. And we'll just go through and do that for each of the relevant properties. Click preview and just check that we can hover over that, it doesn't change. Now we'll use a label to display the text on the prompt. Just get it where we want it to be. Center the text. Then we'll make the font stand out a bit more. Now we'll add some nice big buttons to the prompt to either confirm the deletion or to keep the record. Now what we'll do, so there's no shadow of doubt what you're doing, we'll make the delete one red for danger, it is going to be deleted, and the keep one green. Now at the moment all of these new components will show, 
including the dark background. So what we're going to do next is amend the onSelect property of the trash can so that we'll set a variable and set it to true and then we'll set the visible property of all the components to our new context variable. We'll select the trash can, amend the onSelect method to set our variable and we spoke about context variables in the last episode. We'll call our available delete opportunity prop, so I delete op prop, set it to true. And select every component that's involved in the prompt. And set the visible property of all those components to a context variable that we set. What we also need to do is change the on visible property of our screen so that it updates the context variable that we're using to show and hide the dialogue to false. That way that if anybody for any reason pushes the trash can to show a prompt and navigates away from the screen we won't go back to the screen to see the prompt still there. So let's preview that and then press the trash can just so we can see everything again. And the last thing we've got to do is change the on select properties of our two buttons. The first one we'll do is keep and we'll change that to update context and update the delete op prompt to false. So that's just going to hide the dialogue again of the prompt. Then we'll update the delete button on select property and we'll use the function we copied earlier so that will delete the opportunity and go back to the previous screen before we do that we just need to make a small change to update the delete box prompt so that it hides the dialogue One last preview to see if the whole thing works. So selecting an opportunity, hitting the trash can, we're going to keep that one, nothing happens. Trash can, delete, and the opportunity is gone. So that's the first time that we've stepped outside the functionality of the CDS template and added some completely custom functionality. The concept of adding those kind of layers on top of the canvas, it's quite new to me. As a traditional Dynamics 365 guy who's used to working with model driven apps, that's not something I've came across before. So it's quite exciting possibilities there. In our next episode, we're going to look at our detail screen. We're going to add some fields to it, and we're also going to add a button there which allows us to open the record in Dynamics 365. Until then, blue skies.